Welcome back to another installment of We're Working on the Riviera. Uh, last time I kind of got stumped with trying to take the door skin off. Well, this time I've got the factory service menu. You can see it kind of hiding up on the roof over there. Um, also, had a couple of people reach out to me and say, oh yeah, just ever so carefully uh, undo those bolts. And if they start to spin, grab a thin putty knife, thin is the operative word, slide it between the outer door skin and the inner door skin and push on that T-stud so that way it holds it captive. So off camera, I've you know investigated that and it does work. So I've got three off. I'm gonna keep working my way around the bottom and up the other side. Um, the other side's gonna be a little bit difficult because you know the door opens and there's not a lot of room for a wrench. I may have to go get one of those fancy uh, uh, flexi head ratchet wrenches which I've just got ratchet wrenches right here, but uh, you know, darn, I have to go buy new tools? Okay, so let's dig into this and let me, uh, we'll get this door skin off, we'll get the uh, locky thingy figured out, we'll get everything greased up because you know, I don't really wanna have to do this more than I need to. Stay tuned, follow along. So here is a quick example of the putty knife method. Now you can see the putty knife is slid nicely between the outer skin and the, uh, main part of the door not sure what we kind of call want to call that the inner skin sure why not sounds good so all i did is push down on the stud uh, i gave it a little bit of a prying motion and that seemed to you know a little bit of a tweak that way that had good results um we've got this one here on the bottom i'll have to look around along the bottom and see what else we got looks like there may be a couple over there and then comes the fun ones on the front side. More to come. So I got the door skin off. I had to grind away too many of those little T studs that I'd like to admit to. But anyway, that's what it looks like with the door panel removed. I'm going to have to source some new uh, little studs for the door skin that hold it to the uh, the door frame. Um, all over the place. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make sure I grease the window tracks, you know, all those kinds of things. Uh, the door latch mechanism, which is actually kind of ingenious right here, uh, that contacts the, um, the key tumbler, actuates it's up and down. This gets pushed on and the door comes out. So that's kind of cool. I've got it set in there solidly at the moment just so that way I could work with things but you know it's actually kind of cool more to come so this has been a much slower process than I expected you know I'm into it a couple weeks but luckily on video you're only into it a couple minutes anyways the door skin is off it's actually right there and we had a nice discovery it's actually a remote mirror it's not uh, just a manual mirror the door panel has a spot for it, for the remote mirror. Now I've got one. Now I just gotta figure out how to put it in there correctly. Anyways, let's uh, get this cleaned out. And I wanna make note that I did figure out why the door lock was not going up and down like it was supposed to. Something was out of sync and I kind of incidentally found it as I was just passing by looking at it. I pulled up on the lock, pushed in on the thumb button and it went plonk really loud, aggressive thunk, and uh, it started working. So that's no guarantee it's gonna keep working forever. So we're gonna get it cleaned up, we're gonna start lubricating it, and look at it to make sure that uh, it doesn't happen again. And just for those playing at home, here's the mirror, uh, remote mirror thingy-majig, and it does move the mirror correctly, so that's nice. So I'm not entirely sure how to fix this yet, but I've noticed that when this is, you know, inboard, it's got problems. When that little guy goes out to there, it locks and unlocks just fine. Still trying to figure out how to fix it. I've come up with a solution. Since we know that when this little guy is, you know, forward of that nub, the lock has always worked. Every single time I've tried it, 
you know, cycle the door, close the door, cycle, you know, make sure that's on the outside, lock cycles like it's supposed to. So we need something that forces this guy over a little bit. Here's what I've got. A little tang, I'm gonna grab the uh, uh, hot metal glue gun, and we're just, I've got a specific way that it's not working with one hand, but basically that little guy is gonna go in there, we're gonna weld it in, and it holds that guy over so that the lock will work every time. And that's a big wear surface, so we shouldn't have any issues of it, uh, you know, giving us fits down the road. So here's the fix. I put in a nice piece of uh, 316, 516, 187, 5, 187, because 10 thousands don't really matter in plate. Uh, that just spaces this whole thing over and ensures that it clears this little guy. And you'll notice there's a nice round tack there. That just ensures that in the event that it contacts that surface, it just kind of goes whoop and slides right off and goes back to its uh, correct location. And I've tested this. I've jiggled it. I've gone up and down. I've cl opened and closed, open and closed, open and closed, close, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. So it seems to be working like it's supposed to. Now I got to go get some uh, white lithium grease. I don't have any fresh stuff floating around. I'm going to lubricate everything that moves. And one more interesting little tidbit, the wing window guy. Uh, I'm probably just going to drill and tap those for quarter 20, number seven drill. I've got quarter 20 taps. Um, that's just a rivet that's in there. I've got to knock off a little edge there. And then this ugh, will sit nicely on top of it and stay bolted down uh, solidly. So, you know, fun, fun. And just like that, a couple of quarter 20s put into place, some nice washers hold that guy into place. So now there's no issue of that. Um, coming loose, getting broke, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get some white lithium grease and we're gonna grease every moving part, the wing window included. So, continuing on. Remember guys, when it comes time to get everything greased up again, don't be shy. You put some on, put a little bit more on. All the mating surfaces, go ahead. You soak them once, yeah, you may wanna soak them three or four times. Cause you know, this is a classic. It needs some uh, some lubrication to do its thing. So anyway, that's that. You can see my handiwork there. And uh, that's about all I got at the moment. We're waiting on some parts to come in, some uh, T-studs to hold the door skin back on. A couple of them fell in the line of duty, but you know, that's just kind of the way it goes when you're playing with classics. Anyways, the lock works. Everything's greased. We're in good shape. Stay tuned. There will be more coming. We're gonna address the rear suspension of this car while the parts arrive, and uh, you know, lots of other good things coming. So thanks for watching, stay tuned, there'll be more coming.